Today we gather to honor and celebrate the legacy of Washington legend, Sean Taylor. Honor is not conferred just on somebody's time or tenure in something, it's on their impact. For a whole generation of Washington football, no one had more impact than Sean Taylor. He was a football player's football player, but it was the man he was to his family that cemented his legacy. He meant the world to me. His mindset, same bloodline, same DNA is still in me. Intercepted! Gabe Taylor! A touchdown! Gabe Taylor, the younger brother of the late great Sean Taylor. People were watching me, so I can't let them down. For 21-year-old Gabriel Taylor, November 27th means many things. It's a day to mourn. It's a day to remember. And it's a day to honor his older brother. I'm going to finish this story. When I was younger, I would watch film every single day of him. In the coverage, and the Canes take it right back, and it's guess who? Sean Taylor. We all have the same style, just being around the ball every single play. This just gives me a motivation just to just keep his name alive. Growing up in Miami, Florida, Gabriel Taylor's family name was already well known in large part because of his half-brother. You could call him the man-child. You could call him the specimen. His given name is Sean Taylor. Sean, 18 years older than Gabriel, dominated at Gulliver Prep High School in Miami, and then at the University of Miami. It's interception, and that's going to be returned by Sean Taylor for a Miami touchdown. It's only a junior, but the, he's as good a safety as there is in this country. Whether it was at Gulliver Prep or the U, you know you had an opportunity to see a once-in-a-lifetime talent play the game. In 2004, Sean Taylor was selected fifth overall in the NFL draft. I had great people pushing me, like my dad, my mom, you know, great family members, and that have all helped me to this point. He was tall, he was fast, he was strong. He was just more talented than everybody else. He also played harder. I try to be the best every day I step out on the field, and you know, one day I'll be at that level where I can say, you know, I was one of the better safeties to play the game of football. Touchdown, Sean Taylor. He does it again, how about that? I wear Sean's helmet in the house. I just wanted to feel what people looked at. Feel what people coming across the slant looked at. I've been around the game for so long and I've never seen one like this. This dude inspired a generation of players to want to be him. What was that like to have your big brother be you know, this big football star. It's just, it's different from me, because that's my brother, and it's like, everybody sees him as Sean Taylor, one of the greatest of all time, I just see him as Sean. This is a jersey that Sean gave Gabriel when he was little, and it says, to my baby brother Gaby, with love from your big bro, Sean Taylor, number 21. I keep this in his closet. So when he comes home, he opens the closet, he has it right there. He looked up to him like an older brother and could have been a father figure as well. Sean would be out there doing some drills. 
And I said, okay, Gabe, jump in and do the drills. And Sean would just look back and say, okay, little man, I see you working. You're going to be great. You're going to be all right. He idolized his brother. He was proud of him. Breaking news out of Florida involving an NFL star. Washington Redskins safety, Sean Taylor. The 24-year-old was shot in his Florida home. According to news reports, five intruders anticipating an empty house entered Taylor's home in an attempted burglary. Upon entering, the five men encountered Taylor in his bedroom, where he was attempting to protect his girlfriend and 18-month-old daughter. Two shots were fired. One bullet hit Taylor in the upper leg, damaging an artery and causing massive blood loss. I'm at the hospital, something you couldn't believe. On that day, I lost a son. After 24 hours in the hospital, Sean Taylor passed away due to his injuries. He was 24 years old. My heart is broken. Sean, I love you as my brother. I love you as my friend. And I'm going to miss him with all my heart. I was sitting down, looking to the right, people crying, looking at my cousin, and thinking, like, why is she crying? I was so devastated that I think somebody else had to explain it to him. You know, because of this, it's just, it's a lot of pain. One day, he just started crying. And I turned around, I'm like, what is wrong? What are you crying for? Like, he was bawling. So he said, Sean, Sean is not coming back anymore, Mom. I said, baby, I know. And I hugged him, and I, then I started to explain to him what, what death was. And I explained to him, you know, we all have time, but we don't all have the same time. This is the towel I got after Sean's death. Um, you see how old it is, that stains on it. I'm never gonna wash this. I leave it right here every time I sleep on the corner of my bed, bed frame, and it's gonna be everywhere I go, everywhere I sleep. I wanted him to know that even though Sean is not here, that you could still honor his memory. Gabriel honored Sean the best way he knew how. And by 2019, at 18 years old, he was a safety at Gulliver Prep High School, playing on the field, now bearing his brother's name. Being Sean Taylor's little brother and playing safety at the same school, what was that like for you? I knew all eyes was on me. I had a chance to pick his number, but I didn't want to wear it because of pressure. If I fail, if I did terrible that football season, it was going to hurt. It's going to look bad on me. I feel embarrassed. What does that feel like for you to maybe feel like you're being compared? You're smaller than Sean. You're not, you don't weigh as much as him. It's always that. Like, I don't get the credit I deserve from everybody. That must get tiring. 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 But it does make me hungry, though. Gabriel had a standout senior season and began catching the eye of colleges across the country. I got pick six after pick six after pick six after pick six after pick six. I keep going. How many did you have your senior year? Six pick six, 10 picks, 11 games. In the fall of 2019, Gabriel accepted a scholarship to play safety at Rice University in Houston, Texas. When I got to college, it was just even more comparisons. I knew what it came with, but I was ready. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear 26. I wanna see what the real pressure is. Bring the pressure on, bring the comparison. And this one's gonna be picked off. 
by Gabe Taylor. The younger brother of the late great Sean Taylor. During Gabriel's sophomore season, Sean's number was retired by Washington with Gabriel and his family in attendance. Please join us as we celebrate the life and legacy of Washington Ring of Fame member and beloved alumni, Sean Taylor. Having that scene of everybody saying, you look just like Sean, you play just like Sean, and like knowing like, yeah, people were watching me, so I can't let them down. And I told him, I said, son, what's your legacy? What would you leave behind? How do you want to be remembered? Five weeks later, Louisiana Tech at Rice. 14 years to the day since Sean Taylor's passing. Yeah, emotional day for me. I remember one time he said, Mom, when I'm on the field, Sean is with me. When I hit, he's in my chest. When I catch the ball, I feel him in my arms. He says, he wants me to be great. He wants me to be great. It was a back and forth game. And he is into the end zone. Throwing touchdown. And Rice takes the lead. With under 30 seconds remaining, Rice led by four points, needing a stop on defense. I was like, prayed. Sean, I know you're here. Second and 10, 24 seconds remain. Had all sorts of time. He's going to throw it back across his body. He intercepted. Gabe Taylor. I had tears in my eyes. Because I know he went out there on that day and played with a heavy heart. Every time he steps on that field, he's honoring his brother. He meant the world to me. This path he set, this pressure he put on me, it just made me better. I'm going to finish this story.